Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page. So if you have an established business or you're starting a new one, Facebook is a great platform to be on. So let's dive into the video and start making your Facebook business page now. All right, so all I've done so far is just set up a dummy account here on Facebook. It's a brand new account, no friends, no page or anything set up yet. And I'm gonna go through the process step-by-step step of things that you would need to know when you're setting up your Facebook page. So we can go to where it says create here at the top and you have some options. I'm gonna just select where it says page here. So here you're given two options, business or brand or community or public figure. So if you were to click business or brand, this is where you'd want to put in a local business that you might have or a brand that you're starting. So if I wanted to, I could just say Tom's web design and then my category here could be web designer. So that could be an idea or an option that you could do if you're just trying to get an idea of what business or brand is here. You could also do local service, something like that. Or you can go over here and do community or public figure. And in this case, I might put page name WP with Tom in my case for WordPress tutorials. And in the category, I might just put website. And that is how I would do that and start as a community or public figure. So I'm just going to go through this example as a community or public figure, but either one you can select at this stage and then continue on to the next step here. So if I click on continue, we're going to be brought to the next page where we'll actually be able to start editing our page here. All right. So once we get to this step, it says we can add a profile picture. Now you can also skip this at this time, but I'm going to recommend a website here. It's called getstencil.com. I'm going to have a pop-up come up on the screen and it has free options and paid plans as well, but you can create some beautiful images for free with get stencil. And I highly recommend checking them out. I actually have a video how to use get stencil as well on my channel here on WordPress. So I'm just going to click skip for now, but we're going to add an image here in a second. And here we can skip over the cover photo as well. We're going to add one of them in a second as well. So once we get to the page here, we're going to see that it looks pretty bland. You see, it just has a W for my image right here. And here's where the cover image would go. So to upload a cover image, I'm going to use one that I just quickly created off get stencil in literally a couple minutes. And I'm going to go to add a cover and our cover page. We're going to need to use photos that we already have on our computer. In this case, I'm going to go and click upload photo. And the image size that we need for this is actually going to be 830 by 312 pixels. So that is gonna be this one right here. If you hover over it, it actually says 820 by 360 in my case. I'm just gonna click on that one and it should fit well. And you can see you can actually drag it to reposition it. If you hold the mouse down, you can actually move it around on a screen as needed. I'm just going to click save and have that one go into place here. And next I'm going to go and add a profile picture here. And it's basically just going to be a drawing like this one. And I got those done on Fiverr. If you're interested, I'm going to have a link in the description as well. And here we can use Fiverr and just click update. And then again, upload photo. And here I'm just going to use this one. And this is 500 by 500 pixels in my case. And if we add that, you can see it's going to ask us if we want to drag and reposition it. You can actually pull it out to make it fit a little better and then click save. So you might want to make it a little smaller, maybe 400 by 400. It really depends on what you're going for, but you can adjust it a little bit as you saw right there. So now I have a profile image and I have an image for my cover image right here. So the next thing we can do is it says we can add a button. So if we wanted to click on this, you can add a button where people can contact you as an example. And that is a great option if you want to allow people to just get in touch with you really easily. So you can have different things here. See, it says contact us right up here. Then it says send message, call now, sign up, send email. So you're giving people some options depending on what route you want them to take. You can set these up. So let's say you want to have call now. You can do that and hit next. And then you would add your phone number that you would want them to call you at. So that is a great option to take advantage of if you're interested in that. Or you can just do contact us or send message, something like that. And here you can add a link to your website in this area. If you don't have a website, I have plenty of tutorials on my channel about how to create a website using WordPress. That's really what my channel focuses on. So if you want to, you can check those out. I'm going to have one pop up at the end of this video if you're interested. So here's where you could add a website link. 
and click finish to enable that. So from here, I'm just going to go and go through some of the settings. So if we go up here to the top, it says this settings with this five next to it. Let's just click on settings. And here there are a ton of features built into the Facebook business page. So an option that I wanted to choose here is right now it says page published. We can go into that and edit that status. But next it says visitor post and it says anyone can publish to the page. Anyone can add photos and videos to the page. So you might want to go into edit and that is something that you might want to be in control of if you have your own business page. You don't want it to end up being spammed like crazy. You might want it to only be able to have posts that you have. So disable posts by other people on a page or you can allow visitors and then limit and review the kind of content that's being posted. So I'm just going to go and click disable and I'm going to save those changes in my case. So another thing you might want to go into is messages right here and you can click edit on that and you can change if you want to allow people to contact my page privately by showing the message button or not. So if you don't want that button showing that we just went over, you can disable that here completely. So the other thing that you can go to is where it says tagging ability right below this. And here it says allow others to tag photos and videos published by WP with Tom. So this can be beneficial because it can be like in a way free advertising, but it's totally up to you if you want to use this and enable this tagging ability for others. There are a lot of other things that you can add in here. Let's say like country restrictions, age restrictions. If you have certain content that you don't want minors seeing, this might be something that you would do. Page moderation. So no words are being blocked from this page. It says right now but you can choose to block certain words. Maybe you don't want profanity used on your page or something like that. You can add them in here so it will block comments containing those words. There's some pretty good things like profanity filters right here below. There's a lot of options that you can go through within this section and really customize it to be your own within the settings area here. So another area that I wanted to cover is called page info right here on the left. It's also at the top. If we go over to page info here, we can have a few more options to look at. So here you're going to want to fill out a brief description of your page. So the limit is 255 characters, it says, and this is where you're going to describe the service that you're offering, maybe the location that you're in, because that can affect your keywords. So if someone searches for your business within this search bar in Facebook, your business is more likely to come up if you have a short summary that tells about your page, but also hits on specific keywords. So if you're in Denver, Colorado, for example, and you have a web design company, you might want to put great web design company in Denver, Colorado, and then go into more of a description about the design company. But you're going to hit on web designer for people that are searching in Denver, or at least you're a lot more likely to with the description that you're putting in there. If you have a specific name for the company, you might want to include it in here as well because it could hit on that keyword in the search when people go to search for that. So it's good to hit on these things within a summary and I just wanted to quickly point that out here. Here you can add some more categories and describe what your business is related to. So I already have a website right here. I could put web designer right here as another option and save those changes. Here you can add a phone number if you have one, a website. Again, I have tutorials on this on my channel an email address and you can choose if your page doesn't want to have one or doesn't have a website or a phone number you can choose all of these options and you can put in a street address right here down here is a nice feature as well where you can choose the hours of availability that your business or you are open for work and here you can just choose your schedule and select that it's pretty nice to have that because when people go on google it could be picked up and show these hours or they could just stumble on it if they're looking at your facebook page trying to quickly find out when you're actually open. So this is a nice feature to be included. Years ago, Facebook didn't include any of these features when it came to business. So there's been a lot of improvements over the last couple of years and things like this have been added. So down here, you can also choose things like products, privacy policy, a couple more options that are pretty interesting down there. So if we go over to where it says messaging, we have some more options that are worth taking a look at. And the first thing I wanted to go over is down here where it says show a greeting. You can turn that on and it can send a greeting to people that reach out to you through the messenger. And right now mine says, hi, Tom Johnson. Thanks for getting in touch with us on messenger. Please send us any questions that you might have. So you can actually change this message if you want to display a different message than this generic one right here. But it is a way to reach out to people and let them basically know that you receive their message and that you can reach out to them. This is where you'd have your messenger link and you can 
use your messenger link and copy it and send it to other people if needed. And you see right here, it says your messenger link directs people to a conversation with your page. So that is somewhere you can direct people to if you want to be able to have a live chat with them through your Facebook business page that you can probably refer back to later on if needed. So it's a great way to have that ongoing conversation or to refer back to a conversation that you might have had with a potential customer for your business. So if we scroll up here, we can see that there's another area where it says page roles. And this is another interesting area that we should take advantage of on most of our pages. And right here, you can set who has existing roles within your team. So you can add a new person as a page role and have them be a different level. So there's editor, admin, moderator, advertiser, analyst. And this is where you would add someone. Maybe you would want someone who works in your company that would be a good fit at running the Facebook page for you or moderating that Facebook page for you. Maybe you make them a moderator on your Facebook page. So it could be help if you have maybe someone running a page or if you have a very large and popular page or business here, you might want to have multiple people being moderators that can basically respond to content or comments that people might be asking and interacting with others, posting regularly. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity here in terms of assigning new roles to people or individuals within your company or that might work for you as maybe a freelancer or something like that. Here you can see the existing page roles as well. And that gives you an idea of each person's status within the page. So you can actually adjust them and change them as needed. If you needed to, you could edit and delete them. So it's pretty interesting that you have this set up. It's really nice to give you more control over your content on Facebook. So if we go over, we can also see where it says templates and tabs. And that's another area that I wanted to just check out real quick here. And in this one, we can choose what is displayed on our actual page here. So we have these different events, posts, reviews, Photoshop, offers, groups, community videos, and about. And you can actually add more tabs if you want, or you can delete one. So let's just say I wanted to delete something that had to do with reviews, for example. I can go into settings and then turn them off right here and then save it. And now there's no longer reviews. So that is how you would turn off the reviews tab from being on your page here. And there's other things that you can do. You can go through these. You can actually rearrange them. So let's say if you made more um, offers on your page than something else, you could go and drag that up and put offers first, events second, post. And this will reorder the priority of things that people are seeing when they go to your page. So it's a nice feature to have built into your Facebook business page as well. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to go back to the actual page itself. There's so many features built in now, but this gives you a good overview of the ones that you really need to know. And I'm just going to show you how to quickly set up a post. So you can actually create an event. Like I was just saying, you can put events here or you can put an offer right here if you want to create an offer or you can go live with this. But if you wanted to, you can also write a message in here and this would be a live post that you would have on your page. So I could just say, hi everyone thanks for watching this tutorial and if i wanted to write that i could just put that in there i could put a photo as well and here's something nice you can choose when you share that post so if you wanted to you can choose to post it in a future or you can actually backdate the post and there's different options that you're going to have so it says post scheduling and additional options are available and publishing tools so if you wanted to open that in a new tab you can see the options and publishing tools here once this page loads. And here you're going to be able to set up a new post. So if you hit create right in here, you can choose to schedule it in the future. So you can choose a different date and different time that your post would actually go live. It's again, a wonderful feature to have built in to Facebook and it wasn't there years ago. So this is a great update that they've done. It's nice to schedule a post. Maybe if you have a sale coming up, you can promote it a week in advance rather than trying to remember that week. Oh, I have, I have to do this when you have all these other things going on in your business. Maybe you can do it and schedule it in advance or schedule content to go out once a week just to keep people actively engaged with your brand on Facebook. So once you're ready, you can actually preview it if you want, or you can just hit share now or schedule it. As I just said, I'm going to X out of that, but that is how you would do that. And another important thing that you probably want to know is how to create a username. 
So having your own username will give your page its unique URL. So right here it says WP with Tom up here, but this is the whole URL. So if I took this off, this is what my URL would be. I'm going to, I'm going to just click stay on page, but my URL would include all these numbers. If I wanted to have the username WP with Tom or Tom's web design or something like that, I would need to get at least 25 likes on this page to be able to create my own unique username that I can use within a URL as well. So my suggestion here would be to invite as many friends that you have on your page as possible and invite them to like the page. So some other options you can do is share your page on your profile as well. So this wouldn't be my normal profile here and then I can just share it with others on my profile. So what you could do is you actually could have people in your brick and mortar store like your Facebook page. Maybe you give them some incentive, 15% off your next order if you like the Facebook page. And then after you get 25 likes, you can actually change the username and URL if you want. You could also incentivize some employees to do that as well. The more likes you can get quickly, then you can change this username and URL if that's something you really want to do. If not, and you're fine with it looking like this, which I know some people are fine with this URL, you can leave it the same. I also would recommend you cross promote it on other platforms. So let's say you have a Twitter account set up for your business. You could promote this on there and try to get people to like the page that way as well, or maybe on Pinterest or something like that. And the last thing that you can do is after you have your username all set up with your new URL is you can actually set up automatic responses to new messages. And here you can turn on instant replies and actually set an away message if you want as well. So these are great things that you can have on your Facebook business page. I really hope that this overview of how to create a Facebook business page was helpful. And I hope you have great success with your Facebook business page here in the future. If you like this tutorial and you're interested in learning more about how to actually create your own website to go with your Facebook business page, feel free to check out the next video that's going to come up at the end of this video and subscribe for WordPress tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.